Um, I just wanted to talk about how how much of a shock uh, it was um, when I saw uh, my parents' disorder outside of my family, like in a different body has no connection to my family. Uh, they don't talk, but the, but the behavior was similar, very similar. <laughs> like, it's almost like they like communicate, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying that it was a trip. Uh, when I came, when I first realized I came, I came across another uh, narcissist outside of the family unit. It was shocking. It woke me up a little more. It woke me up a little more. I know I don't seem like I'm that awake about all this, but nothing wakes me up more than discovering a narcissist is in the same house as me. <laughs> nothing wakes me up more than that. <laughs> Uh, nothing gets me moving more than that. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, that got me moving to get the hell out of there. So, uh, once I realized what I, what this d disorder is and what it does. Uh, but yeah, it, it's a trip. It was a trip to see this disorder in a different body than someone outside of my family. It was... It was so crazy to me, you know, it's just like, this can't be, this can't be happening. This can't be real. I can't avoid this entity wherever I go. You know, it's like wherever I go, I, I run into these entities, you know, naturally. And it's just, I'm just like, I was like, cause I'm maybe it's cause I'm so used to that entity, you know, like being around that entity for so long, you know, it was the only thing I could think of, you know, cause I was around it for so long, you know, that I feel like I just attract it, you know, or something. But, but yeah, it was, it was a trip. It was a trip to see, to see it inside a, a different body. You know, it was a trip for me. So that's all I wanted to say for now. I don't know why that was on my mind right now, but it's, it's a crazy uh, phenomenon, <laughs> I'll say. Very crazy phenomenon. Uh, to see it outside the family dynamic, you know, is, is kind of a crazy... This can't be coincidence, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, something bigger is at play here, you know. So... Uh, Anyways, it just makes you not want to even go out anymore, you know. You're just like, if, even if I go out to anywhere, there's going to be narcissists coming at me, you know. I, I go to any public place, there's going to be narcissists coming at me, you know. You, you have to think about that now, you know what I mean? Just like, you got to be ready for it. But you can't let, you can't let them... Uh, make you so fearful that you don't leave the house, you know what I mean? Don't let them make you that fearful, you know? Don't let them have that kind of power, you know? So that's why I force myself out, you know, even when I don't want to go out. Um, because if, if they make me fear, if they make me feel, feel fearful, then they're winning. Their tactics have won. Their tax, their tactics are winning against me. If, if, if it's making me a recluse, you know, uh, that means their tactics are winning to control me, even from a distance. The fear tactics, you know. So I don't want them to. I don't want them to like have that kind of power. So I always try to get outside, you know, every day, every day, you know. Anyways. I think it's helpful to go outside every day, <laughs> even on your day off, you know, so that's all I wanted to say.
I will talk to you later.